Hi folks, what we're gonna show you today is some of the newer baits from uh, Gary Yamamoto Custom Baits and uh, that we've come out with in, for release in 2017. One of our newest baits is this uh, new Yamamoto Zako and it uh, means little fish in Japanese. It's been primarily designed to be a little swim bait and as a chatter bait trailer or a jig trailer. Uh, has a really good tight, really tight action on the tail. The plastic, there's no salt in this bait, so it has a really good tendency to float and buoyancy, and it, and it shakes really, really tight. You're not gonna get a big wobble out of this like a big swim bait tail or a paddle tail. So the really tight wiggle on the tail really mimics the action, the swimming action of a bluegill. Really tight, tight wiggle on the tail. And so one of the primary designs for that has been to rig with a chatterbait as a trailer. And so as the chatterbait's really wobbling and working back and forth, this tail isn't getting really crazy. It's just back there, just giving off just that subtle little kick. But one of the big things about this bait it does is the bulkiness and the weight of it, it actually lets you hold the bait down a lot more and keep it in the water column even lower and because of this with the salt and it's so soft it'll compress the way it's designed with the fish bite it it will compress real easily and get out of the way of your hook mm -hmm. all right so another cool thing you can do with the the new yamamoto zacco is you can just rig it on a regular round ball jig head and swim it around uh, there again it won't have a lot of action to it it'll look kind of boring um, but what, once you stop it and it settles down onto the bottom, it has this tendency, this tail will actually stand up and bring this bait up and it'll, it'll set there like this, like a little minnow coming down onto the, onto the bait, uh, looking for something in the rocks and that. You can also, we've had uh, great success with our, our Bass Elite Pros. They've been Texas rigging the bait. You have to use a fairly small hook and one of the, the best hooks we've found for it is a troll car um, tube jig hook so it has a big wide bite and but it, it's short so then you can rig it and just put it into the body and just Texas rig it on an eighth ounce 3 16 something like that and then flip it around in the bushes and that and then as it settles and sinks real fast it has a really good waddle to it and the tail moving don't forget sometimes you can dip these tails in a little bit of chartreuse and get that uh, extra little bluegill look on it but uh, Fairly versatile bait, and uh, it's, it's been one of the most popular and has been winning really well on a 2016 Bass Elite Tour. I had a rig, uh, the new Yamamoto Zacco, on a chatter bait. We have just green pumpkin chatter bait right here, and uh, just, just want to put it in through the nose. We've got a good uh, guideline to bring the hook up through the body. And if you look real close on the body, there's a, another seam about, about a third of the way down from the back down there. So you want to try and keep that hook right there in that, that area. Just push it in, find out where your keepers are, and bring it right through the top of the back where that uh, hook line is. You're just going to push it up on the jig head on there, make sure it's running straight on there and there you go so now you've got it rigged and this adds so much more bulk to your chatterbait you can be able to cast it a lot farther and then the other thing is is it's going to hold it in the water column a lot better so when you're throwing chatterbaits a lot of guys you know they ask like well where do you want to do it well one of the things is uh you know just around the top of grass uh, rocks just anywhere you'd really throw a crankbait you just want to throw it the same way it's just going to give off all that lot more vibration and that different look for it. And, uh, you know, you just reel it really slow. You get the blade going and you're feeling a lot of vibration in your uh, uh, rod tip. Now, one of the things when they eat this bait is you lose that vibration. So as soon as you lose the vibration, you need to try and set the hook. And uh, generally you have fishes on there. Sometimes you have grass. But just always remember, hook sets are free. So you just set the hook, give it a good jerk, and you've got a lot of weight on it. Just you know, really crank down on it even harder and give it another good hook set so you can get the hook in.
We've got 15 colors in the Zacco. We've got, uh, I've got a few of the newer ones right here. We've got a, a black, black blue top and a green pumpkin laminate on the belly. And we've got a watermelon copper and then an orange red laminate for those early spring cross situations. Then if you're in the area, Great Lakes, things like that, or really clear water where you, um, you know, you know, just a lot of clearer water, don't need a dark color, something more natural. We've got this electric shad and the uh, ultraviolet flake on it does a really a lot of cool things. It'll actually disappear, look translucent. And then your basic color, just standard green pumpkin. And we have a lot of variations of both of these. We've got white, white and chartreuse, uh, bluegill, black and silver. So we've got a lot of good variations to go with your trailers.